It's uh, Tuesday, 7th of December, 2021. It's half four in the morning. And I just had a thought to myself. Uh, every time I wake up early and I do a night walk, I'm going to do a different area of concert, Black Hill, Shotley Bridge, etc. And uh, eventually, my plan is, over the next 12 months, because it will take a while, because I didn't wake up early that often, but I'm going to do a different area. And, have a different walk and I'm going to call this uh, the estates or something to that description and I'm going to walk in a different area of concert maybe just a street could be just a little area or whatever anyway I'm on Queen's Road at the moment That, that there's in the dark, that bit oh, well, there's a don't walk part of it anyway. Um, so the closest one to me is what you call the Lynx estate. So if you live on the Lynx estate, I'll probably be walking past your door shortly. Um, and you can put in the description below where you live or what area or what part of concert and uh, we'll get there eventually sometime over the next year so uh, this one's probably called uh, the Lynx Estate anyway as you're coming down Queen's Road it's basically the first turn on your right which is here and this is a Lynx Estate at the moment we've got this big uh, container thing here on the corner I don't know what that's about like but uh, anyway this is a Lynx Estate on the right hand side just here is a cemetery <clears throat> so uh, as I say I'm going to try and cover the whole of concert in a year so as time goes on if I haven't came to your area put a link in the description and say wait just send us a message and uh, say you haven't done my area yet I was going to take quite a while Because, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm not going to be doing it every day. So there we go. Lynx, the Lynx Estate. I don't think the camera's going to even pick it up, but... Uh, anyway, we'll see. So as I'm coming into the Lynx Estate, you can go left or right. I know the Lynx Estate because I've done plenty of jobs in here, but I'm going to turn right anyway. Very slippy, by the way. Very, very icy and very, very cold. This house here has got uh, different coloured lights on the front. Now to do with Christmas, it looks like a normal thing, that one. <coughs> but I'll tell you what, it's quite difficult walking up here because of the ice but uh, it's not that bad but it's bad enough anyway obviously I didn't mean to 
I didn't expect to bump into many people. Not at four o'clock in the morning, anyway. I've already seen one person, and that was in May Street. Putting rubbish in the bin, I thought, well, it's four o'clock in the morning. Well, half past four. So, uh, but anyway, this is the first of many, it will be many. And uh, this is the Lynx estate. What I'll do is I'll do me local ones first and work my way out. Let's see how long it takes. That there's the end of the road here, so we've got to go on left here. I'm not sure if you can go on left at the end. Uh, but I'll go left here. I think that's a dead end up there. And then when we get down the bottom, when we get down the bottom of this here, there's a, that road, what's gone past. If you went left, that's where you'd end up. Coming past there. The road I've just walked down is called Muir Field Close. I mean, on the camera it looks very dark, so I'm not sure if we're going to see it or not, but uh, not really that well they're up this place. I'm just walking in the middle of the road. I don't know if you can see if it's icy or not. Because, I mean, as I say, this, the screen on this camera is like half an inch square or something. It's very small. There's uh, thomasconnelly.co.uk. The D landlord certificates, boiler service and replacement and repairs. I'll, um, if you've got a company vehicle, if I see them, I'll, I'll give you a shout on the channel. That was a little plug for your business. I know this uh, this part of the estate splits off into about two or three streets. So, uh, we'll cover that anyway. This street I'm just coming into was called Turnberry Close. As I say, it's pretty dark, but uh, I'll try and cover as much as I can. As I say, I'm not sure how the... If this doesn't work, I'm going to start doing it through the day. There's only a few houses in here, but... I mean, I can't even hardly see myself. So this is Turnberry Close. Um, this estate, the Lynx estate, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, when Black Hill area went to Fibre, which is a while back, but uh, they forgot to do this estate. I mean, sounds mad, but yeah, that's the story behind it. They forgot to come in here with Fibre. So up until last year, or the year before, BT hadn't come in here with fibre. So these people on this estate had very slow internet. So um, it was weird, like, you know, how can you forget? But uh, anyway, and I'm a bit slipping about here. It's very hard to walk actually at the moment. This is still Turnberry Close. It's a bigger part of it because it, it's in two parts. <clears throat> I 
My feet are very slippy. It's very icy. And turn very close cans up here then. The cans in there as well. So we'll have a little look up here first. Not many business vehicles, but we've seen one up anew. I'm quite uh, interested to see how this video turns out myself. Because so dark. And the gun's up, well this is the end of it really, it's up there, down to here. As I say, if it doesn't turn out, I'll start doing it through the day. I prefer to do it at night, because I'll quiet, there's nobody knocking about wondering what you're doing and all that sort of thing but you know at some point somebody's going to spot us and maybe he's phoning the police or something like that I don't know strange how things have happened so uh, I've got a few customers on here I'm not pointing them out like but I've passed about five already <coughs> So that's it. That, there's a fence down there, I don't know if I can see it on the camera, but just beyond that fence is a dirt walk. So that's Turnbury Close anyway. As you come out to Turnbury Close and you turn right. And it is very, very sleepy. I've nearly broke my neck a couple of times there already. More difficult obviously as you're walking downhill and uh, the don't walk is just in front of her this is what you call uh, car noosty close and that's a don't walk just there there's a there's a pathway just there take you up on the don't walk but I know that along here there's a staircase and it can take you back up onto uh, the main drag of Lynx Estate. Somebody's got some uh, Christmas lights up there. Left them on all neat. I don't know if I'll be doing that like, but. And up above there's an aeroplane passing over, so I presume that's maybe the first uh, plane leaving Newcastle this morning. There's a lot of people flying away for the winter. Talking about winter, we'll see what comes in the air uh, today, actually. It's supposed to be somewhere around about dinner time. 50 mile an hour winds and uh, snow, rain, all sorts on it way. I've just come at the end of the street and here's a staircase I mentioned. Uh, watch how I get up here like, because uh, I hate to fall down the stairs. That's for sure. One more. That's it, I'm at the top. That's a staircase. I don't know if we can see it or not, but that's a staircase. And uh, we're back on the main drag. This is going to be uh, probably one of my shortest videos of the series, if you like.
There's Claire child minding. Whatever that is. Somebody with child minding, obviously. And I'm back at uh, Thomas Connolly. So, um, I'm on my way back out. This street here is called Troon Close. T R W O N. Weird name, Troon. Troon Close. <coughs> so, uh, we're well, not long before we get back out the estate. As I say, it's going to be a short one, but because it's down the small estate. I'm sure I'll be doing a lot bigger areas. When I get the likes of Fennec Walk, well, Fennec Walk's not big. Not that big. Probably about the same size as this. Um, but uh, there's a lot bigger areas in concert. And I'll try and cover them all, as I say. I'll not do them all through the night, I'll do some through the day. Try and speed it up a bit, if I can. So, we're back out to the Lynx Estate. Back into the cemetery. That's the cemetery fence here. <coughs> Should we cut through the cemetery, do you think? In the dark? Why not? There's a couple of cars parked over there, had them uh Why they parked over there in the car park? That's the type of place you park when you're out for a walk, on a dirt walk. But uh these people are not on a dirt walk because I mean the car's been there all night, it's covered nice. Because it is really cold. And there's a gate just here to enter the cemetery. That's it, we're in. Dark in here, I mean. So we're in the cemetery. I don't think I can uh, video much in here because it's pitch black. There's a the gritter. So they're out. It's that dark in this cemetery, I can't even see where I'm walking. Pitch black. Can't even see the path I'm walking on. Wait, well, it's a road actually. But I'll keep going anyway. Back on Queen's Road. Uh, it's funny, like when you when you're out this time in the morning. I mean, I can hear cockerels. You know what I mean? Uh, this time in the morning, and the nearest one to me is. There's a place called uh, the Yes Bens, local, if you know where that is. Um, Black Hill Club. Next to there, there's a lad on our called Keith. He's got chickens in an allotment, which is about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile from here. But I can hear his cockroaches croaking on this time in the morning. <coughs> few bits of traffic going in the boot now, must be almost five o'clock maybe so uh right anyway this is um I don't know what they called episode one or what but we've just covered the Lynx estate so uh Watch out for me uh, recording your area. See you in a bit. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.
and bye for now.